So something that I feel is really important to understand about how our internal village was created is understanding that there's always a good reason why we do what we do. You know, so whatever we're doing today as adults, whether it's self-sabotage, whether it's procrastination, um, whether it's um, not being able to have healthy relationships with other, other people, there's always a good reason for it. And often that reason goes back to how we grew up, how we were brought up as children and what we experienced then in the context in which we grew up. Again, it's not about blaming anyone because I really believe that most parents did the best that they could at the time. Um, but it's also not about invalidating our own experience because even if our parents did the best that they could, it often wasn't enough for us or it often was too much for us. There, you know, maybe they were too critical or they were too um, invasive or they were too, uh, cri uh, too aggressive towards us as, as parents, or maybe they weren't present enough or they weren't uh, acknowledging of our emotions. And so it can be either what happened to us, but it can also be what didn't happen to us. And the what didn't happen can be much harder to, to realize because it can be quite subtle. And something that's really important to realize about this is that as children, up until about the age of 10, we tend to blame ourselves for for what, what's happening to us. So we know that even children who are abused by their parents will still blame themselves. They won't blame their parents because it's, it doesn't make sense from a child's point of view that this person who's supposed to take care of me could treat me this way. And so the child learns to blame themselves for any kind of behavior that's not okay and to think, well, it must be because there's something wrong with me. Um, I must be broken or defective in some way because why else would you know, this parent, my parent not be able to love me or take care of me or why else would they treat me this way or why would they neglect me in some way? And so this is something that we know is, uh, is very central to, to children and how their brain develops is this very um, sort of egocentric way of seeing the world, of thinking that it's because of me. And it's basically also a survival mechanism because um, it, if a child blames their parents, then it means that they're alone in the world and that there's nobody there to take care of them. And so what happens instead is that we learn these adaptations that I talked about in the last video of adapting in whatever way needed in order to try to maximize the connection with a caretaker. This is also called, um, it's, it's actually also called our attachment strategy you know it's our attachment style that ha has now become very famous through attachment theory and that's actually how it develops a lot of the time is that you know these experiences that we have um, make us respond a certain way and this becomes an automatic behavior that we keep doing as adults even though it no longer makes sense uh, given the context in which we live today and so Maybe a way to start looking at the behaviors and the parts of ourselves that we don't really like is to, to start to give ourselves the benefit of the doubt and to get really curious about, you know, what if there's a good reason that I'm responding this way? What if there's a good reason that I keep sabotaging every relationship I seem to enter into or I, I can't hold down a job? You know, what if there's a good reason? and to start to connect the dots looking backwards and to see like, how does it make sense that, um, that I learned this kind of behavior as a child and that my village was built in this way. And knowing that we do have this tendency as children, all of us to, to blame ourselves and to think it's my fault um, instead of thinking that you know, my parents are really busy and they're not able to give me the love or the attention that I need, for example, um, knowing that that's also a tendency can help to explain emotions like shame, um, where it's all about thinking, you know, there's something wrong with me, I'm not enough, um, you know, if, if I only behaved a certain way, then people would love me. Those kind of thoughts and feeling of shame are very much related to these past uh, childhood experiences. And so, they keep coming back to us today. We often have a very harsh, critical villager for that very reason, because it was a way of trying to 
protect us and to try to get us to um, be in contact with our caregivers by blaming ourselves and thinking it's my fault, there's something wrong with me, um, instead of seeing the reality for what it is because we just couldn't as children. But we can now as adults and so starting to give ourselves that benefit of the doubt and instead of allowing the, the, these more critical villagers, um, the more shame-based villagers to keep taking over, starting to look at how does it make sense that these parts of me even developed in my village.